Hey, what's up, guys? It's TrapGT, and we are back with another Fortnite video. And we have a pretty good loot route for you guys today, and it's for Anarchy Acre and or Fatal Fields, because they're pretty much the same thing, with a little bit of variation. Anyway, I apologize for being AFK for a little bit, but I am back, and we are going to be doing these loot routes on a weekly basis every Wednesday, starting now. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So we're going to go ahead and land Anarchy Acres. Now, there are many good starting drop points in both Anarchy Acres and Fatal Fields, but my favorite, and what I think is the best, is to land the house. Now I always recommend landing on top, but this time I ended up not dropping soon enough or not pulling my chute soon enough, and so I couldn't land on the roof of the house. I ended up going to the bottom, which is okay. Now be sure you go ahead and check every single room because there may be something in there you'll need. Like in here I found a shotgun, which all I had previously was a few ARs, which isn't the best. Now right about here is when someone decided that they were going to challenge me. Now don't be afraid to go ahead and fight them, all right? So here, what I decided to do was go ahead and break away that wall so that I could see where he was throwing these grenades from. And luckily, he wasn't the best player. And so I decided to go ahead and take him out. Now granted, I have some pretty bad aim and I know that, as you can see, it's awful. All right, so, you know, if you're gonna go ahead and challenge him, just to keep in mind your aim, but uh, anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and check this chest. In this building, there are two chests that are, there are possible to spawn. One right here and one upstairs. Another thing I would highly recommend is to never forget about those ammo boxes. All right, those are very important and will help you out a ton in the long run because they will help you get all the ammo you're going to need to go ahead and take out your enemies. Now, if you did land fatal, you want to be sure to check the two buildings behind the main house because those are typically never looted, and I typically find some pretty good stuff in there. Not always, but, you know, sometimes it's worth checking. And anyway, right about here is when I heard someone enter the house, and so just don't be afraid to face people head on. So this guy I didn't necessarily face head on. I went ahead and placed a trap and um, waited for him to, you know, make his next move, and so I continued looting. Cause I figured I was safe from that aspect and so where you want to go from here is go ahead and loot these two buildings now these buildings are already looted but you want to be sure to check them for chests because each one of these buildings can have a chest in here and so you want to be sure to go ahead and check behind these hay bales because those are very important to check behind because that's where they hide now something I highly recommend is going ahead and getting out your pickaxe and chopping all these down because you will get plenty of wood from cutting all these down. Right about now is when I see the guy that I heard in the house earlier. Now sadly he did go ahead and loot the guy that I had killed earlier which was my mistake for not looting him before he had got there. Now again my aim is pretty bad as you can tell but I managed to go ahead and dodge his crazy grenades and make it out alive. Now as you can see this guy is a little bit crazy he's pushing a little bit too hard and it's really easy for me to go ahead and take him out with my shotgun. Now this time I would highly recommend not forgetting to loot his body because as you can see he has some good stuff that's going to get me up to more health than I had previously. And when you're metting up be sure that you build these little one by ones because they will save you in the long run like big time. I don't I can't tell you how many times I've been saved by these one one by ones and if you don't know how to build very well it's something that you should probably start getting into now sadly most of this is already looted but i would highly recommend just going ahead and checking it because even though someone might have passed something up it might be something that you need or something that's going to help you in the long run now a lot of this has already been completely just picked but look here is a big shield which is going to come in handy big time because now I'm at 75 shield instead of 25 meaning I can take multiple more bullets than I could before now one thing that people never like to do is going ahead and checking these silos now I always do it because even though you may not hear a chest under there sometimes there is and even if there isn't, sometimes other things can spawn underneath them, like guns or ammo or shields. It really just depends. And so I recommend going ahead and checking those, even if it may alert someone to your position from a big tower falling down. 
And of course you do want to chop down these hay bales right here in the middle because anything can be inside of them except for a chest. A chest will not spawn inside of there. But there can be a gun, there can be ammo, there can be shield or meds, you never know. So just go ahead and check that. And again, I highly recommend going ahead and chopping all these little bush thingy McBubbers down because they will help you get your wood up. As you can see, I'm at 366 wood. And now I do have the storm coming up on me, so I'm going to kind of rush through this. Next, I would recommend checking the big barn, and then the long barn, and then I do recommend going over to the left if you have time. There's these two sets of little houses right there that I shot at, and then I do go ahead and check this here on the right. Now, if no one else drops with you, or if you have a squad and you take out everyone else really fast in the beginning, then you will have perfect amount of time to go ahead and loot all of what you just saw. And so I really highly recommend dropping Fatal in Anar Anarchy. It's one of my favorite places to drop and I almost always come out fully looted up. Now I did end up coming in at a whopping third place. Yes, I choked. I apologize. But anyway, that just goes to show how good of a drop point Fatal and Anarchy is. Now that's it for this loot route guys. If you enjoyed be sure to smack that like button and sub to Troy Kality so you could be part of the Troy Kality squad and hit that notification button so you could be here every time that we upload a new video because we got some fire content coming. Yes I said fire and that was a little bit weird but it's okay. Anyway smack that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one.